Um, one of the challenges I faced to having the frostbite was the use of my hands. You know, like we always underestimate the importance of having fingers and the way that your hand help you in your daily activities. And when I mean daily activities, the simplest of tasks such as brushing your teeth, tying your shoes, even eating. With my left hand, I could not do any of those activities, you know. And with the thumb, I was able to grab some things. With the right hand, although one finger was affected, but because of the pain, any pressure coming, and even the pressure was here, and because of the frost nip, I had pain in those two fingers and this finger, so I could not grab things. So I struggled to carry things, and I used to use both of my, uh, the base of my hands to carry things and to do the most basic activities. I think after the first month or the second month, no, sorry, the first month, I was more able to use this hand to grip things. Still, I cannot use this. And with this hand, as the thumb was improving, I was able to use it. However, after I think six weeks, once those are fully mummified, actually I'm using them to grab things such as, for example, my mobile, where I can use the thumb, or sorry, the fingers, the mummified fingers, to grab items. And I can use them for basic activities. However, after the amputation, I will need to adjust using mainly this thumb without having the fingers. One of the questions I got was why we don't keep them. Actually, eventually, those may fall off after some time. However, I have a risk of infection. And also because of them having being there and having the risk of infection, it may take very long time for them to fall. And I may cause myself further damage below. So amputation is required at this stage.